So yes, uh, again, very short introduction. Jan Wilbur, an AI evangelist, which is uh, kind of a weird job title in Red Hat. There are three of us uh, worldwide. Uh, one is in uh, North America, Michael Thiemann, uh, the person who technically invented uh, open source in uh, business and commercial open source. Uh, then we have uh, Harish Pillai doing the same thing in the Asia Pacific. And I'm responsible for the EMEA region. Um, now the good thing is, uh, I don't have to do whatever vendor presentation. Uh, that's what Oracle already did for me, thanks for that. Uh, Oracle Enterprise Linux, as everybody knows, is based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux, so you get all the goodies directly from us. Um, so, uh, I'm not here to talk about products or stuff, I'm more to uh, give the official Be Very Afraid presentation of today. Uh, normally this is done by a lawyer, uh, today I'm taking that position, so if you can go to the next slide. Um, you know, the numbers are clear, uh, we don't have to discuss them anymore, why cloud is so important, uh, etc. It's just a different set of factors, one is cost, the other one is innovation. Innovation does not happen on the application level at the moment that much anymore. It happens on a new delivery model called apps. You know, everybody's talking about app stores and getting money from apps and etc. Uh, the classical desktop with a full-blown set of applications will go away in the next few years, period. Um, so uh, Steve Jobs uh, is absolutely right when he talks about the post-PC era. Uh, in, in my opinion, we're moving into a world where uh, data follows people and I want to interact with the data in the context I am. Now, my typical context will be my smartphone, my typical context will be my iPad, my, my Android tablet, uh, or at home my television, uh, whatever. Uh, and I don't want to be interrupted by, do I have the right programs everywhere, can these interchange? I take that as a given, and it simply has to work. And the only way it works is open standards. And, you know, on the business level, uh, you know these numbers, uh, I hope. 50% um, of the CAO, uh, CIO say they're understaffed. Uh, one important number uh, that I figured out a few months ago, if you take uh, the, uh, the IT costs in an organization and compare it to uh, economic growth of a country, then um, there is a slight problem there. Uh, the costs of IT are growing faster as the GDP of a given country. Uh, right now it's, it's double the size. Um, so this indicates two things. On the one hand, IT is growing bigger into more areas as it did before. And on the other hand, it's becoming more and more of a cost problem uh, and not so much of a value solution provider. So how can we fix that? And that's why everybody's now talking about cloud. Now, I'm totally honest uh, to, to you people. Um, I am not the biggest fan of the term cloud computing. Uh, you can call it outsourcing to zero. It's a, it's a, for, to me, it's a deployment model. It's one of the newer deployment models. The fundamental technology underneath is not really that different. Next slide, please. So, you know, what we want to do here, and then I'll stop with all this uh, business stuff, uh, provide new service despite budget limits, etc. It's all about saving costs and giving more value. Next slide. Um, so do's and don'ts in, in, in that regard. Now, there's stuff to learn here, and um, I think uh, the most important one are the next two slides. Uh, so, um, in my opinion, um, the, the typical market looks like this. You have big players, you have small players, they are interoperable in whatever ways. Um, so you have, let's talk about cloud here, you have Amazon Elastic Cloud, and you have IBM Development Cloud, and then you have a lot of small cloud providers. And the biggest problem for you as a user is if you go into this direction, um, how can I make sure uh, that I can survive the migration between cloud providers? Now, in my opinion, uh, after quite a few years in the business, uh, migration is the biggest obstacle ever. And this is unfortunate because migration should be the cheapest option ever. This should be a normal thing that you're free to change your solution. Uh, in this world, it's, it's getting really complicated. 